Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make content based on fantasy stuff and just very much just anything that I like that just gathers communities. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to be talking about the fantasy genre and just something that really bothers me when it comes to the genre because as much as I like it, there's obviously something that I don't like about it <laughs> and that I want to discuss about it today. And hopefully um, some of you guys agree with because I'm just very much curious like what people have to say about this. So yeah. So let's get started. So I wanted to talk about the whole trope when it comes to fantasy and the fantasy genre and that being the age gap trope. A lot of fantasy shows and movies and just stories overall always do this trope and I don't know how to feel about it because it makes me very much uncomfortable and at the same time like I don't care I guess but it's just I have mixed feelings for it and I, that's why I wanted to discuss about it today so with this genre I've noticed that they always tend to put like age gaps in a lot of these characters um you know relationships for example heaven officials blessing shilian and hua chung they have an age gap of seven years and when i found out that they met when hua chung was 10 years old and shilian was 17. and i i've seen the fandom and what their opinions had to say in regards to that. They're like, oh, it's not weird, guys. And blah, 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 blah. You guys are just being sensitive. And, you know, saying all these things. And I'm just like, no, they're not being sensitive. It's okay for them to be uncomfortable with that. Because for me personally, I love this story, I do, but that's the one thing that I do not like about it, and it's very much the whole age gap thing. And it's because I wouldn't mind it as much, like, of them having an age gap of seven years if they met when they were both in their 20s. Like, let's say, for example, Hua Chung was 21, and then Shi Liam was 28. That I would not mind because they're both in their 20s, so I don't care. Like, you know, that's- they're both adults, that is fine. But uh, knowing that they met when he was 10 years old and then Shilian was 17, it does matter because he's still a kid that very much hasn't grown, like, mentally-wise, and Shilian 
he's already has like pretty much a more developed mindset compared to Hua Chung, you know? And so I'm just like, when you think about that, it's just really weird because <laughs> he's way older than him. And so he knows more than him. And that Hua Chung was, you know, he still very much was innocent to some extent. Because if you read the novel, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so just because of that, I'm just like, that's like, why? Like, to me, I'm like, why? Like, why did they have to do that? Like, why couldn't they at least, if they wanted to ha make the age, like, if she wanted to make the age gap to be seven years, can they at least be in their 20s? Like, why? Why did it have to be like that? But yeah, so I don't know, like, it, it's, this is just my opinion, of course, if you very much do not care about this whole entire thing, about, you know, Hua Chung and Shilian having an age gap of seven years, and they met when, obviously, Hua Chung was a kid, and then Shilian was, um, basically entering his adulthood soon, because, again, I don't consider 18 or 19 to be an adult yet, that's just legal age, Okay. But he was very much almost in his 20s. And so that's why it's pretty much weird, you know? And so that's, I'm like, what? But yeah, so if you would disagree with me, though, in terms of watching Shilian's, like, you know, age gap situation, that is fine. I, I completely respect you when it comes to that opinion. But please respect me <laughs> with my opinion. Because like I said, I still love this story. It's just that one thing that bothers me when it comes to it. And that is all. But yeah, that's an example of what I mean when it comes to this whole age gap trope. And again, this happens in a lot of fantasy stories. So that's just an example. There's so many more examples out there that have that trope in their relationships. Um, so yeah, I'm just like, why do fantasy stories do this all the time? This is my biggest question. Why do they always choose this trope in a fantasy story when it comes to the couple the main couple's dynamic you know if there ever is a couple in a fantasy story like why do they do this because and another example that i could think of that is a fantasy that does not have an age gap is um mdzs which is wei wei wuxia and lan wangji they have an age gap of only one year one year apart and i'm like see why can't we have this more <laughs> i'm like why can't we have this trope more why can't they just be a at least a little bit of like you know apart or why can't they both be in their 20s and have like a an age gap but at least they can both be you know adults like why can't we have this more <laughs> and so i'm always like wondering like why why are they so obsessed with this whole age gap trope like i want to know um i'm just so curious you know and some people of course would make the argument well it's a fantasy fantasy is very much what it means it's a fantasy so you fantasize um an age gap you know and i'm just like but it's not okay though <laughs> like Sometimes age gaps are fine, but other times they're not. And the reason why I say age gaps are fine, what I mean as in when it's like, let's again, let's bring back up Shilian and Hua Chung. If they were both in their 20s and it was a seven year age gap still, that's fine. That's when an age gap is okay. But when a character is like, let's say nine years old, and then the other love interest is like 20, or over a thousand because you know a lot of these characters be really old it's like why and they meet when they're when they meet the love interest when they're like nine and then this the character is like a thousand years old they're fully grown and i'm like how is that not weird to you guys <laughs> so i'm just like why like why do they do this and so i'm just like is it just me or or do other people feel this way? I don't know. But for me personally, I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to age gap tropes in fantasies because of this very much reason. Because most of the time, they always end up meeting their love interests when they're like super little. 
And I'm just like, that's so weird, you know, because they know them when they're little. And that's why it's weird. And it's, that's why I find Hwa Chung and Shu Lian's, like, you know, relationship when it comes to that part of the story pretty weird because he knew him when he was a kid. Obviously, in the story, he didn't even know that was him, but until the very end but that's still pretty weird you know <laughs> like they they knew each other when he was super little and then the same thing with this example that i brought up like like this random example that i thought of the top of my head like imagine someone that's over a thousand years old and they know this nine-year-old when they were a child i'm just like that's so weird like how do you guys not think that's weird <laughs> so, so i'm like what and i know some people say like oh like it's a trope that happens in fantasies and you just have to get used to it if you're not into that then don't like this genre and i'm just like yeah but not all fantasies have that trope though so that's what i'm like what i'm like not all fantasies have that trope so that's why a lot of other people like it because it doesn't have that trope like you know sometimes it doesn't have those tropes in those stories so it's like okay i, I like fantasy you know and so, again, I'm not saying I don't, I've never read anything that had um, an age gap when it came to fantasy, as I have. And some of them were weird, and some of them were fine. And again, like I said, what I mean by fine, as in like, they met in their 20s and there's an age gap. So, again, I don't know how to feel about this whole trope but personally i wish it would die down <laughs> i wish this trope would die down in fantasies because seriously like it happens too much honestly anyway and i'm just like can we just have it when they're like the same age or close to age like can we have that trope more please <laughs> i'm like come on <laughs> um but yeah that's really all I have to say about that. Like, I don't know if it's just me or if anyone out there who's watching this video agrees with me um, or disagrees with me. Like, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts about this whole entire trope in fantasy stories. Um, because for me personally, like I said, it bothers me to a certain extent. Um, and yeah, I just don't know how to feel about it. And I honestly just personally think it should die down. So let me know down in the comments down below what you think about this trope that happens in fantasy stories. And yeah. Please like and subscribe and comment for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,